1969, a group of students were asked to memorize a list of 12 words. Half the group studied the list for two minutes, the other half were instructed to use the same amount of time to create a story that contained all the words. When the students were tested on the recall, only 10% of the students who had memorized the list remembered the words versus an astounding 90% of the students who had created the story. Time and time again, numerous studies have shown that stories can be an effective way to learn things. When you watch a story on Netflix in your native language, it activates many parts of your brain. The visual cortex processes what you see on the screen, the sound is processed by the auditory cortex, and at the same time, the left temporal cortex tries to make sense of the dialogue that is spoken between the characters. The emotions in the story cause the frontal and parietal cortices to be activated. But when you watch Netflix in a language that you do not fully understand, the left temporal cortex may struggle to process the dialogue, but the fact that the other areas have processed the information gives the brain a sense of context or structure, making it less difficult to understand the dialogue. Bonjour à tous, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to talk about how you can use Netflix to learn French or any language of your choice. We all know that learning a language can be tough, but using a resource like Netflix can make the process a lot more fun and interesting. So stay tuned as I walk you through my method to learn French using Netflix. Now this method works best if you know a bit of French already. If you have no idea of the language, then the first thing you need to do before using Netflix is to complete a program called Language Transfer. It's 100% free. You do not need to use a credit card or sign up or anything of that sort. I have linked the course in the description below. The reason I think this program is worthwhile is because it's very similar to the way you learned your first language as a baby. I've spoken in detail about this course in my previous video. If you are interested, click on the info card on the top right corner of the screen. Once you know some basic French and are ready to learn with Netflix, we are going to download a free Google Chrome extension called Language Reactor. So let's see what this does to our videos on Netflix. We are going to watch a very popular TV show called Lupin. This is the first episode of season one. You can see the characters in dialogue. <laughs> So on the bottom you can see a band of double subtitles, one in English and the other in French. And on the right you can see the entire conversation in English. You can also play around with the settings to change this to other languages of your choice, the audio or the subtitles. I can also close the conversation so that I can see the full screen and I can also export the bilingual script of the entire episode that I can then print or save as a PDF to review later. And here's a cool feature, you can also click on individual vocabulary when you have French as the primary subtitles. So here you can click on this word Formidable. and see the meanings of specific words that you do not understand. The possibilities are endless but we are going to take our learning to another level with the technique that I call the two window method. Here's how it works. You first watch the entire episode in 0.75x speed with the French audio and the English conversation on the side. On the bottom you would have the double subtitles and you watch the episode closely to see what they're saying in French and how it correlates with the English subtitles titles you don't need to write down or make notes or anything of that sort once you're done watching the episode i want you to open the show in two separate windows like this and place them side by side to the window on the right you close the english conversation turn off the english subtitles while maintaining only the french subtitles to the window on the left you have both the french and english subtitles then you activate this really cool feature by language reactor called ap which automatically pauses at the end of every sentence so you turn this on for both the videos then what we're going to do is try to figure out what they're saying sentence by sentence. You play the window on the right, hear what they say, you translate the sentence in English and then play the window in the left to check if your translation is correct. So here's an example. I think she's saying that this is wonderful and you do this line by line step by step for the entire episode and once you're done you redo the exercise for the same episode but this time you say out the correct translation. The reason this approach is very effective is because it draws on a very effective study method called active recall. In essence active recall means that you're testing yourself for most of the time from start to finish. We all have this misunderstanding that in order to learn something new we have to put stuff into our brains but actually the evidence points the other way around. The best way to remember something is to pull information from our brains rather than trying to stuff it in. If you notice, I didn't ask you to write down sentences or note down the vocabulary while watching the episode for the first time. The learning happens when you're trying to translate the sentences, which is a form of active recall. In essence, you're creating a gap in your brain and then closing the gap with the right information. And information that is absorbed this way tends to stick much longer. Numerous studies have shown that active recall is the best way to learn something new. If you're interested, the productivity YouTuber Ali Adal does a great job of explaining what active 
active recall is and why it is such an effective study method. I've linked his video and the papers in the description below. Once you've completed the first exercise, we take our learning one step further by translating from English to French and I call this the beast mode. You essentially switch the screens. To the screen on the right, you have the audio and the subtitles only in English and to the screen on the left, you maintain the audio as French with both the English and French subtitles and you repeat the same steps as you did for the previous exercise. So here's an example. I just got myself a job. You got a job. So I'm going to translate this. Uh, J'ai trouvé un travail. And she says, T'as trouvé un travail? So let's see how that translates here. If you could a job. A job. So it almost means the same thing. It's a similar sentence. So you watch the entire episode once trying to fill in the gaps and then you rewatch the same episode while trying to say the correct sentences. The most important thing you can do is to try and say the sentences out loud so that your mouth gets used to making the sounds like a native French speaker. It doesn't matter if you don't get it right or your accent sounds very different from that of a French speaker because what you're trying to do is to mimic the sounds of a native speaker and this is what babies do when trying to speak their first language. They learn by hearing and repeating what their parents say until they subconsciously internalize the patterns in their sentences. So the idea is to hammer down these patterns by repeating the sentences like a native speaker until your brain intuitively starts to recognize that there is a structure to these sentences. Moreover, the way the language is spoken in net Netflix is similar to that of the real world rather than the limited sentences that are used in textbooks so you get more used to the real street French so to speak. But the most important thing is that you are having fun. A major reason why people quit is because they feel forced to study something. You're watching a show that is designed to be fun and entertaining. You can make this more fun by doing role play with your friends where you pick a character and translate only his sentences and your friend only translates the dialogue of another character. But as a side note while I think using Netflix is a great way to learn a language it should be used primarily as a supplement. I'm a true believer that the only way you're going to reach conversational fluency in French or any language is by talking to people. To illustrate my point, let's take the example of a professional basketball player. Shooting alone is a very important part of practice and improving one's skills, but in order to successfully train for the actual match, he would need to play with other players in a real game. In the same way, when you practice with Netflix, you're missing another person who's actively listening to what you're saying and then responding to what you have just said, which I think is the ultimate way to reach fluency. Having said that, I think Netflix is a great way to learn a language and is only second to talking to a real person. In terms of the kind of shows, I would recommend authentic French shows that have both the French and English audio so that you can complete both the exercises. My personal favorites are Lupin, Family Business, Into the Night and Osmosis. The reason I would not recommend English shows that are dubbed in French such as Friends or Seinfeld is that the audio tends to sound artificial and sometimes the dialogue does not seem to match the subtitles which sometimes can be confusing for beginners. So this is my method of using Netflix to learn French. You can also use this method to learn other languages. If you like this method, please be sure to check out my video on the quickest and cheapest method to reach language fluency in six months, which should appear to the left of the screen. If you know other ways of learning languages, please leave them in the comments below. All the best on your language learning journey. If you found value in this video, please be sure to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.